Hi, I'm Leah Carruth. Hi, I'm Michael Carruth. And this is Passing It On with Gillette. So, hi, Dad. Hi, Leah. <laughs> I knew we were here to say some, ask some questions. So they say, so yeah. let's, let's get on it. All right, then. Go, shoes. Okay, first question to you. Why did you never take up boxing? That's kind of, that's quite a loaded question. Why okay. why would you why would you willingly put yourself in a situation like that? That's what I want to know. What do I you don't mean know. Willingly? Huh? What do you mean willingly? You know, going into like, box. Yeah, like why would you want to stand? I don't understand why you'd want to get hit. That's why I'd never want to go. I'd never want to do it. It never appealed to me. It was never like people ask me that question all the time. Like they, they hear your name and they're like, oh, do you box too? Like, no, what? I just don't know why I would. There's no reason for me to. Well, then we have to, I suppose, we have to blame Granda uh, Ozzy for that. So, because he was my coach, he was coach at Green Hills Boxing Club. And I kind of just followed in his footsteps, being my yeah. father. So, why did you not follow my footsteps? Uh, and don't give me that reason because you just don't want to be here, you know? Well, I don't. <laughs> it sounds awful. I mean, I get that it's a it's a sport, and obviously there's technique and all of that in it. But it just never, it never would appeal to me to to stand in. The, I obviously, you know, it's I don't know. It's just not for me. Okay. It never. I always I, I went down the musical. But I wanted to be singing, acting, dancing. I never wanted to stand in a in a boxing ring and fight. It's never just. So, just hasn't appealed. So the question was asked you quite a lot on your in your growing up uh, time. Some people that wait when you a boxer like your daddy, you know? Yeah, yeah, I get asked. That does literally the first thing. It's like, oh, and do you box too? I'm like, no. And then it's always, do you have a brother? Does he box? And I'm like, okay, yeah. Well, he does. <laughs> but I don't know. I suppose female boxing wasn't really a big thing either growing up for me because it didn't start getting big until Katie Taylor and Kelly Harrington started making it big. So... It wasn't really for girls, which and is they, awful. And they've made it big now, haven't they? So yeah, they have. And I mean, <laughs> if I was one of their daughters, maybe I would. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, yeah, but it's just, I don't know, like sport, I suppose sport was never, I remember actually having a PE teacher in school and she was delighted when she seen my name she was like yeah sports and I went in I've never met someone so upset she was like sports not for you is it it's not I like, no nothing I was like every week I'd try something new and it just never it never worked it just wasn't for me but like I came from a family of big family of 10 kids six of us were boys four girls you know what I mean yeah and of the six boys five of us boxed you know so yeah uh, for Robert, my youngest brother, obviously didn't. He went down the role of uh, soccer and he was very good at it, you know. But the girls, you know, as you said earlier on, there was no such thing as female boxing back in the 70s and 80s. and Yeah. To the, you know, mid-90s then it started hitting in and thankfully it did, you know. But Exactly. Yeah, my, my sisters as well, you know, are prominent Irish dancers and yeah. things like that. So, um, so they had that kind of uh, sport background that they were very good... Two or three of them are very good um, table tennis players as well. You know? so, yeah. yeah. So they, they had a, they had their, this, you, know, you know, when you have a family of 10, uh, like we couldn't drop kids around like you and your brother get dropped around everywhere, you know. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. Mike and Paula, sexy service, but, you know, it was <laughs> it was one of those types of things, wasn't it? So, I know. So with that. Also, like mom comes from sport as well. Like mom ran. So that's why another thing, like both of you were sporty. It wasn't like it wasn't a sporty family. Not like I didn't come from a sporty family. I just, I don't know, fell in love with acting and I decided, nah, I don't want to do sports. For you, you know? uh, Yeah, it just wasn't. I, I don't know why. I just, so I don't have it. I don't. Everybody probably knows us now from uh, TikTok, okay? <laughs> right. Yeah. And you you want to get this fame into your head or into your life, I think. You know, TikTok famous, right? So, so how are we going to do it? How are we going to get TikTok famous, Leah? Have you? I mean, I put you in a wig. Yeah. I put makeup on you. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> My tough image is just 
gone now. Yeah, so I don't know if you ever had a tough image. Oh, I think I had a little bit. Yeah, so. I don't know. You've done you've done some of those dancing shows, and <laughs> you like a musical. Oh, by the way, that was you again. Yeah. You know, so uh, so. On That's dance what I heard. Also, oh, yes. So, yeah. What did you think about me doing Dance with the Stars? Oh. That was yeah. When that article came out, Michael Cruz's demanding daughter. I was like, I look crazy. Yeah, <laughs> That's not. That's not what happened. That's yeah. not what happened. Well, you got that phone call, huh? You tell them what happened then. Oh. You got that phone call, and you were delighted to be doing dancing. That's what happened there. You think so? Yeah, hundred percent. I don't think it had anything to do with me. I think you you pretend you don't like it, but you absolutely love it. I love dancing. I love I love dancing, but I hate the preparation for it. You know. Fair. Like, well, I, well, well, I was a boxer. I didn't mind the preparation for it because I knew what I was doing. But I always I always hate things that I don't know what I what I'm not doing. If, if that makes any sense yet, you know, like like Karen, who was my dancer and a fellow dub as well from Valley Fair, just down the road. Um, yeah. If anybody who I wanted to get was her, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh no, I know. A bit, a bit of banter and a bit of slagging, and she'd tell yeah. me off, and I'd tell her off, and that we, we were like two married couples to the pair of us, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> um, but like, I just, when I couldn't get something, like, you, you always have to be three steps ahead when dancing. And, yeah. You know, in boxing, you don't have to be three steps ahead. In boxing, you can just throw a straight jab and get away with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But in dancing, you have to be at that next spot now. I'm saying, how am I getting to that next spot when I haven't got a clue what's going on in my head here? You know what I mean? And that's what was the most annoying and part for me and frustrating part yeah. me because I'm used to being the best at what I do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And then being an Olympic champion and what have you. But you were out of your comfort zone completely. Oh, out of my comfort zone. And it was one of those type of things like and you sometimes put me in that out of me comfort zone and this TikTok thing, you know what I mean? So but uh, you do enjoy them. You do enjoy them. Some of them I do, yes. I did I did really enjoy the first ever one we done was with me and Mammy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and that one I really that was a I don't know that was a belter. You know what I mean? But then that one was but then, that one was pretty but remember then you like you know one of our biggest um followers or whatever it was you want to call it um from that you know we were pouring water into a glass oh, that yeah I know me. yeah so you explain it's, that. To, you explain that to me how that happens. You know what I mean? I have no idea how it works because it's the ones that you put no effort into that just somehow people like them more. <laughs> they just go with them because that one we literally I didn't even have to prepare you. Whereas with the one where I put you in a wig and in your dressing gown, you had to learn lines, yeah. you had to learn actions, and I mean you did do it. So fair play. So do you think I've got any potential as an actor? Though? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that was it. Maybe. What could maybe that? You know what I mean? So <laughs> I don't know. I think you probably could have a bit of potential as an actor. Right. Like you can, I think I always say, I always say if um if you got some singing lessons, I think you'd be an okay singer as well. You think so? Yeah, if you got some lessons and you actually put your mind to it, I think you wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Well, you know, music is in my my blood as well, my uncles and yeah. Last time where you know, you know, remember right, our, our Uncle Victor and Uncle Sil was it. Finalist, he was he was a great guy, you know. Uh, Victor was one of the, Victor, believe it or not, sang at his own funeral. You know, he went out to his own, <laughs> sang his own song. You know what I mean? And That's a bit <laughs> iconic. It was, yeah. But he, he yeah. again, he was one of that that kind of extrovert as well. So we, yeah, yeah, uh, a lovely, lovely person. And obviously, yeah, but music was in my father's side much as I don't think my mother's side was as much uh, musically orientated than my father's yeah. side was. You know, so again, it's uh, it it's kind of repeating itself with some a couple of my nephews and nieces as well are very much that's into, it into the like, like it is a, a musical family i'd say your family i think your side of the family are very musical you yeah. have lots of singers on that side so i mean it's a big family so surely half and half mm. half sing and half sport I'm gonna, so ask half you, I'm gonna ask you a doozy of a question now right so right, go on right so i don't know if you ever heard this one before so it's a, if you could be any in any film of any decade what film would you be in and why? Now, like I, one that's already... I actually have the answer and my answer for you, you know what I mean? So That you would put me in? I, I think what you're going to answer. And I'll, uh, if, you don't, if you don't, I'm, I was wrong. <laughs> so Okay. Come on, you got three know. seconds. Come on, three seconds. One, okay, um, two, three. I'll say uh, something like the Titanic or something. 
That is exactly my yeah. answer. <laughs> so because, <laughs> because I know yeah. you're fancy, obviously. You know, you know, yeah, well, yeah. obviously. <laughs> and you got I, to see them once in New York, didn't you? So, I did. That was honestly. I'm sorry, that. Uh, I. Nah, that was so much. Tell, like, them, tell the people the story of you when you were met. Right. So I was working at an ice cream shop and he had been coming in regularly. And Tell I was like, he is, of course. Yeah. Oh, obviously, if you know Titanic, you know, see Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. <laughs> but he um, he came in to order ice cream and I forgot how to speak. Yeah. forgot how to move. Everything just stopped working. And I was like, this is the end for me. I had a bit of a mental breakdown afterwards. I just started crying. I was like hyperventilating. But yeah, I would do something. I would want to be in a movie with him. Yes, obviously. All the way. <laughs> That's the aim. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's yeah, that's one of my highlights. <laughs> Is that a sad thing to say? A highlight of my life? Oh, oh he's a he was a he's a great actor. It was a great yeah. film. Yeah, it was one of the best films ever. You know, I yeah, saw. it's kind of movie that we if you turn on if you turn it on, it's halfway on. You'd keep watching. Hour, you watch it. You know, there's yeah, certain, there's certain films, isn't it? That you, you just keep watching, and even though. I call it stupid TV because you've seen it already and you're going yeah. to watch it again. You know, so, but That's the next part again it was a, a, an epic journey from Ireland as well. When I mean, you would look at the Titanic and this, when I was only down in Cove last year, you know, yeah, so you got the. I actually we've done the tour. Did you hear about the tour? And we were giving the name plates and we're having. I actually died on the Titanic as well. You know? <laughs> So did Jack. <laughs> so did Jack, yeah, he's a fictional character. Yeah, a fictional character, yeah. you know, but uh, it was one of those things I always wanted to know what film you'd want to be in, you know, so. Well, I'm going to throw that back at you and say, what film would you like to be in? I think I know the answer as well, but. You know, already, you know, so it, it's, it's related, you know, so it's, it has to be. West Side Story. West Side Story, absolutely. <laughs> and my, I favorite, had a my favorite song. Yeah. Is in that film, do you know? That I feel pretty. I'm that so one. pretty. I'm so pretty. <laughs> and able to, well, think of the songs in that in that musical as well. And I can't wait to see the new the new version of it as well. You know, so. Yeah, that's out actually. We have to. Well, we get back to the story that you know there there is a, a, a family thing in that as well. So yeah. Um, supposed to be my great great uncle was the music director in West Side Story. You know? That's just not true. So, well, his name's Frank Carruth. Have a look at it. So, <laughs> I reckon that is a big spoon. So, well, I had it on the... What's it? The, the, when it comes at the end of a film, the... What it does, the credits. Credits, yeah. He's there. I took the picture. You know what I mean? So, uh, so, <laughs> you believe that? I feel like you're very... Well, Sylvester told me that. You know, my oh. uncle, who told me that our great uncle, our great, great uncle again, was, was the original uh, music director or editor. Of West Side Story. Now I wouldn't have made that up, and then all of a sudden your man's name comes up on the on the on the, on the minutes at the end. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, maybe. Look, that could be where we got our musical from. I don't know. So uh, it's possible. It is possible. But what well, is, I don't know. I I don't know if that's. But that very is, free. That is a great yeah. movie. Yeah. You know, so we have to. Say it is. Great movies, right? So. It is. So how old are you now, Leah? Twenty-five years old. I'm twenty-five. Yeah. But when you're moving out of the house, you know. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. But. <laughs> Yeah. No, I like I said before, like I'm a boomerang. I'll leave and I'll come back. Yeah. There's always going to be somewhere for me to stay. If you keep coming back, that's for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, uh... Well, that's because you just keep letting me in. You may change the locks if you don't want me back in. Okay, another question for you. Yeah. While I was still boxing and you were young, okay, did you um, did you ever have a, any worries about me getting in the ring? Or were you too young at that stage? I think I might have been too young to even know what was going on. Okay. I don't I know if I ever that. watched it. I probably, I probably never got to see if I in person. Yeah, I don't think. I think when I I turned professional, you you got a bit older, obviously as well. I, so yeah, I was away for a long times as well. So did, do you, yeah. do you remember prior to that or? I remember. I think no. I don't. I actually don't really remember. I know I was about four. I think when you retired. Yeah. So I was quite young that it never really. It didn't register with me. Right. I remember getting to go to a, a, a Chai Line concert when I was younger and being like, this is the coolest thing ever. But like, that's all I remember from being young because I remember you being on stage. That's the only thing I remember of being like, that's a bit no, weird. I don't, I don't know if you remember when I was over in Jersey. Uh, we were brought over to Jersey as a young kid. I was yeah. near, coming near, near the end of my career where I was fighting for a world title. 
and I my training camp over in Jersey. So, but you were brought over. Your mommy brought you over, Jelani, I think. And yeah, it's a picture. Yeah, you have a picture. That's all you have remembered. Yeah, that's all. I, literally, that's the only thing I would remember. Well, that's I don't. True, it? So I don't feel like the that. only time. Do you know the only time I've ever watched you in person fight was when you, uh, when you done that. 65 roses thing for 65 roses yeah that thing's the only time and that obviously wasn't proper boxing but it, that's the only time i've ever seen you in yeah. a ring right. in my actual well, like, that, that i cool. remember we, we raised a lot of money for 65 roses that day you know and, uh, yeah it was I, a great day now i remember doing it as well because I, I fought 65 people in a row what they paid yeah for one minute i got a minute break and then i said i'm never doing this again i said because I was in my fifties at that stage, you know, and yeah. in my fifties, and uh, I just said the next time I do, I'm going to get a bit of help. So I, some help I got, wasn't it? I got, you did, yeah. That's the time I went because I didn't get to go the first time. Well, I got um, Kenneth Vegan, Olympic silver medalist, John yeah. Jones, Olympic silver medalist, Paddy Barnes twice Olympic and, bronze medalist, uh, and Andy Lee world champion, yeah. and his Michigan. So uh, and we yeah. did a lot of great things for CF Ireland there that day as well. So and, and the first time you done it, you done it on your own. Yeah. You know, and I remember mom, mom FaceTime me because I was still in college at the time. Right. And um, you fought Carl in the last round, That's which right. was really nice. It was, yeah. I remember he wait, like he was the last one to go in with you. And I remember that being a really nice moment. I was like, That's really sweet, like watching father and son. Well, apart from him trying to bash me, yeah, in the last round. You know? and <laughs> well, so I mean he had the upper hand in that in that I sense. Gave, I gave him a little reminder why I was an Olympic champion, you know. So <laughs> by that stage, though, you were 65 minutes in. I mean, yeah, you were near in the end. But I, I remember that really vivid. I remember getting a bit emotional. You're yeah. like, that's really sweet. Like, you know, I was raging, I wasn't able to be there. Um or, or, or get in the ring and hit your daddy as well. So yeah, I should have probably done it the second time. Yeah, probably. Maybe maybe you know, you were asking me earlier, would I be a boxer? Maybe I have the talent, I just never tried. Oh. Mm. Maybe, maybe it's just in my blood and I just haven't tried and I'm just wasted potential. I don't know if that's true. I, I don't know that's true either. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Was it no other sports that you really would I know boxing was a, is probably your family, you know, but was there anything there? I know you said sports days and all in school, yeah. but nothing like tennis or you know running. No. Or, so I just, feel like I, I tried them all. Like I, I tried volleyball when I was in secondary school. I was like, this is going to be it. And then the ball came and I went to go do this thing and my finger went back. And I was like, no, that's why I don't do sport because that was just so sore. I done athletics for a while when I was younger. Not for me. Okay. I, done, I tried gymnastics as well because I thought it was cool. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I tried, it just, that, I tried that once in the army and I'd never got to straighten my arm, my arm again. You know? and yeah. I'd done like, so much salt and landed on the ground and broke me elbow and exactly yeah it's never. they're all dangerous that's why i don't do sports it's dangerous dangerous right so yeah just i don't know but um i was you were saying there about did i remember you boxing mm. when i was younger i don't remember any of it but what made you what when so i was four i think when you, you retired and carl was born then when yeah. i was about four so is that why you retired did you retired because we were born or were you just coming to the end of your career yeah, yeah, a bit of that as well it was more that you know i was at an age as well over 30 for a, a male boxer is you know in around the, the peripheral of, of uh, retiring you know what i mean so yeah you don't, you don't see too many your uh, men male boxers uh, getting up to their 40s unless they're heavyweights you know what i mean like they're you mm -hmm. know and, and that and i was in a category of like 10 and a half stone which is well yeah. and so you wouldn't see too many welterweights you know making a pass 34 or 35 in our yeah. game sport you know, of boxing you know um, and as i said i'm not putting my expressions on the heavyweights but you know they have a longer longevity as well in their sport you know yeah, yeah. you know it's heavyweight boxing you know the old cliche one punch can you know, make a career but one punch can end one as well so yeah exactly and i got to a stage where i was i, I was happy enough to get out you know what i mean i put a yeah. lot just put a lot of uh, time into boxing and I said now it's my time to get back into the, the real world you know get yeah. it and you know and look after you a lot you know and yeah. that was it so because your mom your mom you know, they look after you for a lot a lot of times you know what I mean while well, I was in yeah. training camps and boxing and down the whole nine yards so it was a, yeah it was a case get back to normality you know and that's what it was so 
So do you think being a first time parent or being a boxer, which is harder? Well, first time parent, it, it was tough. OK, because you always oh, people telling you you're, you're, you're changing the nappy wrong and you're doing that. Yeah. Wrong. You're doing that wrong. I remember I snapped at one person before and I won't say who it was, but it said, uh, like, I know what I'm doing here. Do you not remember when you became a parent for the first time? You didn't yeah. know what you were doing, you know? And uh, yeah. they kind of got the message, you know what I mean? So yeah. give us a chance here. Give me, you know, I'm, I learn by my mistakes, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. I feel like that's like, really like I've done my boxing life all my life. I learn by my mistakes, I says, you know? Yeah. So, so with that, they, they kind of got the message. Yeah. Him again, like that, you know? So. <laughs> no, I can imagine. I'd say it is terrifying. Like, that's what I mean. Like, um, like walking down to the ring or walking into the delivery room, which is scary. <laughs> like they're the same thing. Well, walking into a ring, I knew I was okay for because I knew what to do. Yeah. Walking yeah. Into, a, into a maternity delivery room, I hadn't got a clip. Yeah. And you're, yeah. Asking, and you're asking your wife or your partner, who you know, whatever way you're in, in life, you know, how are you feeling? How do you think I'm feeling? You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't ask that question again. You know, so, don't uh, ask any questions. Just, just hold the hand and just let them crack your fingers and do yeah. what you have to do. And you know, give any male a, a voice out there, don't ask any questions when they're in, that, in there. Yeah. You know, just hold their hands and let them throw things at you, whatever they have to do, you know? And get so on. then the second time around when Carl was born, did you feel more prepared? I did, but his was a lot quicker. You are you're, you're a lazy guy. You didn't want to come out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not much he couldn't, he couldn't wait to get out, that fella, you know what I mean? So he's still yeah. the same. You know what he's like, your, your younger brother, you know? So yeah. He's, uh, you know, he's always... Three steps ahead of himself, do you know what I mean? So, exactly. Yeah. So he's yeah. a little bit early, but again, us again, we we got the perfect family, didn't we? With the girl and the boy, yeah, you know? and that was it. So that's we're a real American family, you know. That's it. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, you were because you're going to be going to America again or Canada or whatever else you're going. Yeah. So tell me about Canada. Are you going to go to Canada now next year or the year after? Yeah, that's the plan to get out of here again. Like like I said, the boomerang. I'll leave. I'll come back. Why do you? <laughs> why do you not like Ireland? I do like Ireland. I do. It's just like everyone else my age. There's not a lot for us here. <laughs> so you got to get out. I'll come back. Trust me, I'll come back because there'll oh. always be a room here for me. Well, your name is Boomerang, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> so. so I will. I will come back. Um, there was, this is a good one. When I, when there was an article and you said something when I was born, there was some sort of an article. I remember reading it. I couldn't find it today, but I remember vividly it said that uh when you had me i was your biggest achievement yeah do you still think that now 25 years later okay <laughs> good question or can i no can be I, honest can i pause on that question you know so <laughs> the two years are the best thing i ever had yeah don't think you're getting that, that all the accolades no i mean in general having kids you think having us is having your kids biggest is achievement yeah obviously you know that's the bottom line you know you yeah, we, we got married you know, we had, we got our house. We, you know, the next part of obviously marriage is is, is having a family. You know, so we're yeah, sure. lucky enough to have you to, and or maybe unlucky to have you to. You know, so I think you're welcome. Yeah. So if I could, if you could describe yourself three words, describe it. Me. Yeah. I don't like that question. Because you're going to ask that of me, wouldn't you? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah probably. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to get you to describe me in three words. <laughs> No, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. You don't know. No, I don't want that. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Where are you going to be in twenty years' time? I. Uh, Come on, are you going to be an actress? Are you going to get this top film role? Like your favorite. Well, that's not your favorite yeah, actress too. Yeah. Well, that's the plan. That's the yeah. plan. Well, who's your favorite actress? Um, right now it's Nicola Coughlin. Okay. Yeah, I think she's really she's doing really really good work. Right. I'm very. I just love watching her. I think your favorite, was, your favorite for a long time was what Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I liked her. I mean, she obviously it's Meryl Streep. Everyone loves Meryl Streep. Yeah. So. But Nicola Coughlin is just. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching her. I'm like, she's fantastic. Right. He's got it going. Well, who's yours? My favourite actor? Yeah. Good question. I never really thought about that. Um love Sean Connery in, um, in the Bond movies, you know, because yeah. you know, 
television isn't what it was when we were growing up, you know, compared to what it is now. You know, and yeah, music, yeah. The, the effects and the, you know, everything else that they can do off it. Um, I loved, I loved any kind of, you know, um, war movies and things like that. They were right. all my, my favourites, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Mel Gibson was great. Um, the Gladiator, um, I can't think of his name, he just had the Lou me there for a sec. Russell Crowe, actually one of the best ever films again, Russell yeah. Crowe. Um, Maximus Decimus Aurelius. You know? No, you know all the words. I know. I've done that movie <laughs> with you about three times and I'm like, yeah, let him do it. Yes. <laughs> He's sitting there miming away. <laughs> That's the right you have when you watch a movie. You're allowed to say it. You're allowed to say it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Okay. But uh, yeah, but some hey, listen. It's very hard to say who was your best. And, and, and yeah. Whatever, because it's such an expansion of people uh, is the yeah. world. You know what I mean? So um, yeah. yeah was, uh, probably those. Yeah, those those kind of would be there. Like a great uh, only uh, a person now. Uh, sorry, um, what am I saying? The Ray Liotta only passed away there a couple of days ago, and yeah. I loved Ray Liotta because he was he was with those other two uh, gangsters of, of of that film world. You know what I mean? Yeah. A big loss to the uh, film industry, uh, Ray. Yeah. Was, because yeah. The films he was in was just mind definitely. Yeah, no, definitely spot was, on. So it was one of those. So. Uh, we never get the likes of them again. I hope. I think. You know what I mean? But, I okay, it's probably unfair to say that, but like. Yeah. That's kind of like boxing as well, you know, because we always say we're never going to get a better ha- heavyweight than Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Well, I've never seen a better heavyweight than Muhammad Ali. Okay. Um, with that. Well, you have to look at it like he was your idol, though. Yeah. That's well, why you think that. Marvin Hagler was, but Muhammad was just, as a heavyweight, was one was the greatest era. Yeah. Skill wise. Like people would. would, would Put Mike Tyson into that equation there because he yeah. knocked out more people and, and things like that. You know, he yeah. felt, but the bottom line with that is, is it's going to ask you who's the greatest actor of all time. You're, going, you're not going to, yeah, ask. you're not going to answer, yeah. So that, they, you know, they, they prove themselves every year when it, when it comes to the awards, who's the best actor and actress at the exactly, in, yeah, in the year. It's, it's, it's you're asking era of, of the era of boxing who's the best, you know, what I mean? yeah. Rocky Marciano was on on the beat, on on the speed at forty nine and now unfortunately he died in a plane crash. You know, yeah. Look at Mayweather; has got fifty and all. Yeah, uh, so he is good. It's again ages and, and decades and different yeah. different things, isn't it? So it's, and boxing is changing a lot now as well. It's it's becoming a lot more high profile. Like I feel like back when you were boxing, it wasn't like social media is a big thing now as well. And absolutely, yeah. all promoters and all of that. It's all very different to when you were boxing. Yeah. It's it's a very different sport. I mean, it's the same technical sport, but when it comes to social media and all of that kind of stuff, it it has changed. I think, yeah. especially in the last few years. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, and it's it's great for boxing as well because you know when you look at in the last two weeks now, two world champions in, in the girls. Okay? Yeah, it's amazing. And now we've two lads in the in the European final today. Apart yeah. Dylan. Dylan uh, he fell at the last hurdle. He was beaten, uh, and uh, but beaten silver medalist, nineteen years so old. Bad. And uh, with another lad going in, uh, with a dozen going in now later on again. So we could, we could, you know, in the next last two weeks, we could have two world champions and maybe a European champion. We're a European runner up, and that is absolutely brilliant for a little old Ireland color and German. So yeah. And you know, it, it's one of those type of things. I'm not going to get into any any political things and what have you, but like, applaud what we have. You know what I mean? Because they're absolutely fantastic. You know, so yeah. Isn't it? So that's how I feel about it. Like, I think when it comes to bringing home medals and stuff, boxing is definitely it's 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 very high up there. Absolutely. Here's another yeah. question for you. Mm. You have a brother. Yeah. Like, you don't have a sister, right? Did you ever regret never having a sister? Um, no, because Carl used to let me dress him up as a princess when he was younger. You're not supposed to say that. (laughs) He loved it. He let me do it. I'd put a wig on him and a little dress and he was having a great time. Um, He wouldn't let me do it now, but back in the day, he was kind of a brother. His rough him is gone again. I like a (laughs) shot. But yeah, no, I mean, obviously I wouldn't mind having more siblings, but I wouldn't change 
No, okay. Well, you're too Crawford, no. yeah. And you, you just yeah. dragged your brother off to the greatest car that you got, you know, so... Well, it's true, he did. He let me do it. Well, well, and you put his hand up and say it. He's got enough cousins and enough, you know, that, you know, he's yeah. like, like sisters, you know what I mean? So, exactly, exactly. He's, he's hanging out that much as well, isn't it? So, yeah, well, yeah. Okay, again now, right. We're actually another question in relation to the TikTok. Did you have, did, did you give me an answer which was your favorite? My no, I didn't. Um, my favorite was the one that I was hitting you with the um wrapping paper. Okay. I enjoyed that one way too much. Was that one? I don't know. It, well, and then I had to pop up. Was it that that one? Was it or wasn't that? No, one? No, the one that I had two pieces of wrapping paper and I was just whacking you in the head with it. Right. Nice. Yeah. So, so there is a violent streak in yeah, I know. So maybe there is. I barely hit you with it. I barely tapped you. So do you think this is gonna help your TikTok fame now? <laughs> I don't know about that. Why not? I don't know, but I just love TikTok. It's it was something like it just during the lockdown there was nothing to do. So that's when it was kind of like, right, like, come on, let's hop on TikTok there and let's annoy dad. Yeah. So yeah, let's annoy dad. What else was I gonna do? Yeah. Go and cut the grass. Nah. How would I do that when I could make videos of you dancing? That's true. Well, yeah. You know. And remember me dancing with the stars again. We go back to that one more time. Right? Did yeah. you have a favorite dance of that? That you did? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I like. I don't remember. Was it the samba? And you came out of the little tent and you were like wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, was so... I didn't get the kind of the, 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 the graphics of that, you know, what, what we were doing that. So, I, mean, yeah. I mean, it was hilarious. So, yeah. like, whatever, but maybe you weren't the most technical dancer, but you definitely came out of your comfort zone and just were having a laugh. Yeah. And that's that's the point of it. Like, well, I was when you when you when you did rehearsing and you got you know, like I remember the first ever rehearsal I got up there with them, and I'm looking at all these, you know, younger. Um, Boys and girls, you know, yeah. And I should say, and I go, oh, I'm out the first week, you know. I yeah, said, I know, yeah. Because you're looking at the, you know, like professional dancers, you know, basically, you know, and you go, yeah. And then I seen Father Ray, and I said, no, and we have a chance, so. And <laughs> he lost. <laughs> he outdone you big time. Ray's are outdone me, he did, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it was, uh, but you know, it's great that you know, we have done that as well because you know we've got some. I made some great pals, you know. Yeah, exactly. As well, and we're still pals, you know. We still yeah. text one another and follow one another as well. And if anything, like it was an experience that you wouldn't, you wouldn't change. I never do again. No, so. that, I think that you're lying because I think you would. I think you we do? Do, I think we should do a reality boxing show and boxing program. You know, we get stars fighting one another. You know, that'd be interesting. Maybe make that a thing. Elite stars <laughs> boxing one another. You know. Yeah, you could train them. I could train them. Yeah. And do there you it. go. Yeah. Not nearly a crude. Lovely talking to you too, Dad. See you later. Slow. <laughs> yeah.